tough and stingy defenses are what got Lee and Bartram Trail this far. The Generals, they came in only giving up 11.7 points per game. The Bears defense was no slouch either, allowing 149 yards per game during the playoffs. So, of course, tonight in the backyard, we actually had ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Pick up things in the third quarter. Lee up 33-24. Bears creep closer. Riley Smith hits Gunnar Heitzman on the wide receiver screen. Steps out of a tackle and is finally pushed out at the lead 25-yard line. Three plays later, Devin Ellison on the inside handoff makes one cut in the hole, and he's in untouched from 11 yards out. 33-31 lead. Generals answer, Derek Jones, he had himself a game. Over the middle to Devin Dawson for 15 yards into Bears territory. Later in the drive, Jones does it on the ground from a yard out. Generals on top, 41 to 31. Back come the Bears. Joey Gatewood at quarterback, going up top to Chandler Garvin. Gets behind everybody in the secondary, walks in for the score, picks up 55 yards on the play. 41-38 lead at that point. The Generals win a crazy game, 61-59 is the final. They'll be at Tampa Plant next Friday in the state semifinals. Elsewhere, Navarre versus St. Augustine. Second quarter, no score. Navarre driving. Michael Carter takes the handoff, goes right, cuts back to his left, uses his hand to keep his balance, pulls out of a tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. 7-0 Raiders. Great effort by him. Yellow Jackets with answer. It's a little while later. Cole Northwood hits Jacob Feliciano in stride over the middle of the field, uses a stiff arm and explodes all the way to the end zone, picks up 65 yards on the scoring strike, game tied at seven apiece. Later in the first half, Navarre at the St. Augustine six-yard line. Carter walks in for the Raiders' touchdown, 14-7 to Navarre at the half. They go on to win 28-10. to Yellow Jackets see their season end. They finish the year at 11-3. Staying in St. John's County, Rickards at Ponte Vedra. Sharks are undefeated on the season. Sharks down 7-0. At the Raiders 12, Nick Troncy on the zone read, pulls the ball out of Hal Swan's stomach, goes around the left end for the touchdown. Extra point was no good. Tallahassee Rickards is up 7-6. Second quarter, Sharks down 14-6. Same play, this time around the right end for the score, 14 yards out. Sharks up 14-13. Three minutes left in the half. Sharks at the Raiders 15. Troncy back to pass, finds J.D. Paris in the corner of the end zone, gets both feet in bounds. Final Regis takes their first lead of the game, 20-14. Ensuing Raiders possession, quarterback DJ Phillips scrambling, headed for the end zone. And check out this collision. Dives, hit by John Santillo at the goal line. Ball comes loose. There's a discussion among the refs. It's ruled a touchback. Sharks ball, Pontevedra maintains their 20 to 14 lead. They go on to win 30 to 21. They will be at Clay next Friday. Elsewhere, Bowles and South Sumter. Winner of this one advances to the Class 4A championship game. Bulldogs force a punt on the Raiders' first possession. Mari Terry feels the ball inside his own 10-yard line. They tell you to never do that. Guess he wasn't listening because he shook off one tackle and he's gone. 50-yard, makes one move at the 50-yard line. 93 yards on the punt return touchdown. Bowles lead 7-zip before their offense even takes the field. Later in the first quarter, Bulldogs up 14-zip. Mac Jones looking in the direction of Terry, keeps his balance and cruises in for his second touchdown of the night. Bowles up 21 to nothing. Raiders have a chance to cut into a 24-7 deficit just before the half, but Malik Bell is sacked by Amon Ross. Now, late in the second half, the Bulldogs need it and got a goal line stand to head back to the 4A championship game. 31-26 is the final. They will face Coco December 8th at Thursday at 7 p.m. Class 3A, Berkeley Prep against Trinity Christian. Second quarter, Trinity down 2-0. DJ Matthews in at quarterback, fakes the handoff, goes one way, Jerks right back to the other way, just kind of making those guys look silly. Picks up 20 yards on the play. Later in the drive, Conquerors at the Bucks 12. Matthews on the read option, keeps it for himself, goes into the end zone, 7-2 Trinity Christian. Very next Trinity drive, Rasheed Martin just bouncing off of tacklers everywhere. That's one, that's another one. Smith almost gets ran over by his own guy, finally pushed out of bounds. Very next play, Tyreek Johnson takes the handoff from Matthews and goes right up the middle for the touchdown. Trinity wins 41 to nine. They will play for their fourth consecutive state championship on Saturday, December 10th. That game starts at 10 a.m. Other scores around the area. Clay reaches its third state semifinal since 2013. They beat River Ridge 39 to seven. Clay will host Ponte Vedra. University Christian is headed back to Orlando for the second straight year. They handled Victory Christian easily 43 to 13 is the final. Elsewhere, all three of our teams in Georgia, they are going home after the third round 
of the playoffs. And we'll have much more on all of these games throughout the week. And it's been a great day for high school football. Back over to you guys. All right.